Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand the carry lookahead adder, carry chain implementation in mirror style. On the left side of your screen, I have put down the general equation for C out, which we have also seen in the previous clips, where C i is equal to G i plus P i, C i minus 1. And I have also told you the conventions followed by different authors, but I am going to follow this convention for my implementation of my circuits. With that I got this as C1, this as C2, this as C3 and correspondingly this as C4. We saw all the different styles of implementation in the last clip. Now here we are going to see a mirror style of implementation. The mirror style of implementation is nothing but in simple words, suppose if this is going to be my pull down circuit then my pull up will also be exactly the same as my PMOSes and these are my NMOSes and the output would be taken from here. The input to all these four might not necessarily be the same to all these four also. Let's take an example. Suppose this is A, B bar and this is A and B. Then here it won't be A and B bar but one of the inputs will change. For example, if this is A right, and this is B bar then I can have this as A and this as B and not B bar. Similarly, here if it's B, this will be B bar and this would stay as it is. So what we need to understand is the mirror circuit ideally is a circuit where your pull up and pull down looks exactly the same but the inputs might not be the same in pull up and pull down and one of the inputs need to be interchanged so that the functionality is achieved. Okay, let's quickly go ahead and implement C1 in mirror style so that we understand what I'm talking. C1 is nothing but G1 plus P1 C0. We have already seen the pull down implementation. Let's quickly do that. This is my G1. This is my P1. This is my C0. So this becomes my pull down network and I know that I get an output not C1 but C1 bar. So pull up will look exactly the same here and I'm going to interchange my input G and P. So for an adder's carry look ahead implementation you need to interchange your G and P in order to get the functionality. So this is my PMOS, this is my PMOS, this also is my PMOS. Now this will be P1, this will be G1 and this will be C0 and here is my output and this is my VDD and this is my ground. Let's quickly see one or two cases whether this works properly or not. Let's take the case when G and P both are equal to 0 that means my K is equal to 1. When K is equal to 1 we all know that my C out should be equal to 0 irrespective of my C in. So let's see if this is happening or not. So if G is 0 that means this is 0. P is also 0 so this is 0 that means P is 0. G0 so this is off this is off no part for pull down this is on it will pull the output towards VDD so it does not matter what this scene is so my C1 bar would be equal to VDD which means that my C1 or C out in this case would be equal to 0 which is exactly what I want and hence the functionality is achieved. 